Hello! Today your session is called Which Cylinder Holds More? Part 1. Today you will count objects to fill cylinder containers. First, let's warm up. Here you can see two 10 frames. How many dots do you see below here on these 10 frames? First, let's look over here at the first 10 frame because it's the only one with dots. I noticed that the whole top row is filled up. Do you remember how much that is at the top of a 10 frame? Let's count to check right here. One, two, three, four, five. There are five dots when the whole top row is filled up. Now we can add on the bottom to see how much there is all together. At the top we have five and we count on six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine dots here on the screen. Let's count to 70 starting at the number nine. We're going to count together. Let's start at nine. We have nine in our head and then we'll count up to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. You did it. Next, I'm going to show you a shape right here. What do you notice about this shape? Tell your learning coach something you notice about this or something you've seen like it before. Okay, did you notice that this has circles at the ends? Right here there's a circle and right here there's a circle. These are called faces. Faces. Yes. Did you also notice that this is solid? Yeah. And it doesn't sit flat, flat, flat. It sits up, up, up. What does that mean? It's 3D. It's solid. It sits up. Good. Did you see that it's curved all the way around when I spin it? It's curved. It doesn't have any straight edges right? Is this like a ball? Like a sphere? It's not exactly like a ball because it has it's smooth all the way around, yes, but then it has a flat face here and a flat face here and then smooth all the way around. Do you know what this is called? It's called a cylinder. Repeat after me. Cylinder. Yes, this is a cylinder. Next, we're going to make some cylinders with these pieces of paper. You can see they are the same size, right? Yes, we're going to make a green cylinder and a purple cylinder. How could we make a cylinder with this paper? Hmm. Can we fold it? Oh, not fold it all the way, but look, here's a curved surface. So what if we keep it being curved all the way around like this? Then there will be a circle on top and on the bottom. There's a cylinder. I'm going to take a piece of tape and tape it here together right there. 
and right here. So now we have a cylinder curved all the way around with a circle on both sides. Okay, let's do the same thing with this green piece of paper. But what if we want to make a different size cylinder? Hmm, can we make it taller? And then what if we curve it around this way? That's a cylinder. Okay, I'm going to use a few pieces of tape to tape it. So give me just a second. Since this one is taller, it has, it needs more tape. Okay. We almost got it. Okay, our, our tall cylinder now. Now we have our two cylinders, purple and green. We're going to fill these cylinders up with Unifix cubes. Let's, which cylinder do you think will hold more Unifix cubes? Hmm. This one's more round, but this one's taller. Let's find out. Let's do our purple cylinder first. Will you count with me as we put one cube in here at a time? We're going to need some more cubes. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're about right here. 21. Whoops. 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wow, this is a lot of cubes to fit in this cylinder. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, ooh, we're at the top, 42, maybe one more can fit, 43 cubes to fill this cylinder, wow, I'm going to write that number here on our sticky note, 43, and then we'll put it on here. Wow, that was a lot more cubes than I was thinking. 43 in this cylinder. Let's do our tall green cylinder. Hmm, do you think this is gonna be more than 43 or less? Let's find out. Let me get some cubes. Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What about right here? Thirteen. These are connected. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Pretty close to the top, 19, 20. Oh, a few more, 21, 22. There we go, about 22 cubes to fill up this tall cylinder. 22.
Okay, here we go. We filled up the cylinders. We made cylinders and then we filled them up with cubes. Which one has more cubes? This one. What number is that? This one shows 43 cubes. What about in this tall, skinny one? How many? 22 cubes. Yes. We're going to count them in another way. I'm going to carefully scoot this over so you can still see it. I'm scared it might fall over. Okay. Actually, we'll do this one first, just in case. How, what is another way we could count the cubes in here? I'm going to take them out. Could we try to count them by twos? Count them two at a time? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour them out. Here they are. Let's check again to make sure there's 22 cubes, okay? Let's count by twos this time. So, two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve. Can you see them? Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. This was twenty-two cubes. Now let's put them in towers of ten. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one tower of ten cubes. Let's do ten more. One, this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have two more cubes. Can we make another tower of ten? No, these are going to stay ones. So here we have ten plus ten. That's twenty. Ten, twenty. And then two more, 21, 22. How many cubes fit in this tall tower? 22, yes. Good, I'm gonna put those aside. And now we're going to look in our purple cylinder. 43, let's pour them all out. Okay, good, 43. Again, let's count them by twos to make sure and then we'll create more 10 towers, okay? 10 rods. So we have two, four, can you count by twos with me? Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Whoops, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. We still have these. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42. Uh oh, and then just one left. Because if you're counting by twos, those are even numbers, but we had 42, and if we add one more, that's 43. Yes. Okay, now time for our 10 rods. One, two, two yellow ones. Can you see? Two, three, four, count with me, please. Five, six, <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one ten rod. Now let's do another group of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. Another 10 rod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. These 10 rods remind me of some of our workplaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another 10 rod. Uh-oh, but we only have three left. Can that make a 10 rod? No. So these are just our ones that are left over. One, two, three. Our three ones that are left over. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. We were counting by tens and then we had to stop and go by ones because we have our four tens here, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we counted by ones, 41, 42, 43. Yes, there were 43 cubes in this cylinder. I'll put those aside, get these back out. So today you counted to see how many cubes filled up this cylinder and how many cubes filled up this cylinder. One more time. This shows the number 43, and this shows the number 22. Hmm, which number is bigger? Which one held more cubes? 43, yes. Which number is smaller? 22 is smaller. 22 is less than 43 because it held a smaller or a less amount of cubes. Thank you for counting with me today. I'll see you soon.